Hello friends, today let's see how to make mint puliyodurai. It's a twist to the traditional puliyodurai recipe. Now, puliyodurai is a flavorful, tasty dish. Now this addition of mint adds a nice flavor to the puliyodurai dish. Come, let's see how to make it. Thanks for watching friends. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I've taken one cup of boiled rice. I'm going to wash it in water and then soak it for half an hour. I'm heating one tablespoon of gingerly oil. But to this, I'm adding quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds, a pinch of fenugreek, quarter teaspoon of urad dal, quarter teaspoon of gram dal. Saute well till the mustard seed starts fluttering and gram dal turns golden color. This is a very very simple one pot recipe, very flavorful. A slight twist to our traditional puliyodara. You can make it quickly in the morning. It can be given in the lunch box. It will taste very good. Now the mustard seeds have started to splutter. I am adding quarter teaspoon of asafoetida, a pinch of fenugreek powder. We have already added fenugreek, so let it be less. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of red chili powder. You can adjust according to your spice preference. I have taken one red chili and some curry leaves. I have ground a handful of mint leaves and have added one cup of water, rinsed it and have added. I am adding around two tablespoons of tamarind extract and I am rinsing the mixer, mixer jar and I am adding along. Now in case you want more uh, sour taste. You can add some more of the tamarind extract. Now we have taken one cup of boiled rice. So one cup of boiled rice, if we add three uh, cups of water, it will come out well. So I have added one cup along with the pudina extract, mint extract. Now I'm going to add two more cups along with the rice. Now let this come to a boil. Now this is boiling well. I am adding the required salt and I am going to add 2 more cups of water. So in total we have added 3 cups of water. 1 cup of water we have used to rinse the mixer grinder in which we ground the mint paste. And then we added around 2 tablespoons of tamarind extract. And then we have added 2 cups of water. Now let this come to a boil. Check for seasoning if you are new to cooking. Otherwise you might know how much to add. You can even use tamarind powder or tamarind paste that is available. Adjust according to your uh, Sourness level requirement. The mint uh, flavor adds a nice twist to the regular puliyodurai that we have. Now this has come to a boil. I am going to add the washed and soaked rice to this. Now I have added the rice. And cook for 2 to 3 whistles.
Now for the boiled rice I use 3 tumbler of water. Now for the boiled rice I use 3 tumblers of water is sufficient for pressure cooking. Now please check according to the boiled rice you are using. Some uh, boiled rice if it is very mature if it is aged then it, it might require more water and if it is new it might require even less water. Now what I have given you is an average uh, amount. Three, three cups for one cup of rice. If you don't have access to fresh pudina leaves or mint leaves, you can also use dried mint leaves that is available. But fresh mint leaves give gives a nice flavor to this dish. And uh, if you have some leftover pudina chutney, mint chutney in the uh, fridge, you can use that along with this recipe. Uh, it will not make much of a difference. You can use pudina tukku or pudina chutney, whatever you have in the fridge that you can add along with, along with this. Now this is after 3 whistles. The rice is well cooked. Now, I am adding 1 teaspoon of crushed dried mint leaves. This is optional. If you have, if you want, you can add this. Gives a nice flavor to the dish. Now, spread this on a plate so that the rice becomes separate. I spread it on a, onto a plate. As it cools, the rice separates and you will have a pulao like consistency. Now you can use even basmati rice if you want instead of boiled rice. So if you want to use basmati rice, take one and a half cups of water for one cup of basmati rice. Or you can even use raw rice. Raw rice I think you will need only two to two and a half cups for one cup of